The city of Pembroke Pines recently bestowed one of its highest honors to Juan Sebastian Restrepo by naming a street after the fallen soldier. Today we are naming a 129th Avenue after my brother. Uh, we are here to honor him. The city of Pembroke Pines uh, decided to do this. We were very, very excited and very happy and very surprised, but we are very grateful and facing the death of a loved one is really hard. But uh, these types of things, you know, help you not get over it, but uh, come to terms with everything that has happened. Juan Restrepo was a resident of Pembroke Pines and a 2004 graduate of Flanagan High School. My son was a wonderful kid, a kid for me. He was only 20. Uh, he was um, always with, uh, he had very good manners. He was always smiling, always trying to help people, always ready to be there for you. My brother was a very normal Pembroke Pinesian. He used to love to skateboard, play a lot of music. He was a hometown kid, I mean, normal guy. He, uh, he, he cared about the people around him. He was a very caring person. Restrepo was killed in Afghanistan in 2007 while serving as a medic. He was only 20 years old. Soon after his death, a documentary film titled Restrepo was released and it inspired Pembroke Pines detective Christina Cruz working with the crisis response team to learn more. I started Googling after I watched it. I wanted to find out what happened with the soldiers that were involved in that, um, in the making of that documentary in the battalion there. And um, once I started doing that, I realized that the actual soldier that the movie is named after is from our hometown, city of Pembroke Pines. Um, I started doing a little research, I wanted to find the family, I wanted to see if mom was still around. Um, I knew that he had a daughter, I didn't know if she was here, I wanted to see if she was here. Um, I wrote a letter to my command staff to see if we could do something to honor him because I know the city does do things to honor, like naming parks or streets. Um, they forwarded that letter to the city commission and the mayor and it was approved. We located his mom, um, she came in for a meeting, it was a very emotional meeting and um, we let her know what we wanted to do and she was very honored. Um, in that meeting she also uh, let me know that his daughter was nine years old now and that she lived in Colombia. So I decided to set up a GoFundMe account to bring his daughter here for the honoring. It meant the world to me to make sure that we had as many of his family here to be able to see this and know that the city of Pembroke Pines as well as I'm sure as most Americans are very proud that we have honorable brave men that you know join the army and do these things for our country as well as all service. But I'm really, really proud and thankful with all the people that made this together, especially uh, Officer Cruz, who was the one with the idea. She was really good to me. Uh, she was helping me in all the steps to do this. Family members, city officials, and veterans came to honor Restrepo at the street dedication. The honor has left Restrepo's mother, Marcella, speechless. It makes me feel really proud of him and and uh, well, I don't know what to express what I feel to tell you the truth. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just amazed all the things that are happening today. Though another family has lost a loved one to war, it makes them feel good to know that the name Juan Sebastian Restrepo will forever live in the city of Pembroke Pines, a place that he called home. It makes me very happy to know that Flanagan High School students will have to learn how to pronounce the last name Restrepo. Uh, first day of school each year in Flanagan, my brother and I would talk about how we had to teach teachers our name and how to pronounce it. So I'm sure he will find this very, very funny. I'm going to drive very frequent to see his name. I don't know how I'm going to feel. Probably I'm going to be crying. Not in front of everyone, but it's, it's really nice for me this.